In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the front brake discs and pads on a Mercedes-Benz C-Class W204. The basic tools you'll need are an 18mm socket, 17mm socket, a 13mm socket, T30 Torx, 17mm spanner and some grips. And some optional tools, some brake cleaner, copper grease, a rubber mallet, an extension breaker bar and a flat screwdriver. So first of all we're going to get the wheel off and get the car in the air uh, on the side that we're doing. On this one it's the front uh, and this is for models with a 295mm disc. Also we're going to undo the cap for the brake fluid reservoir so when we push the piston back in the fluid can move out. So we've got the car in the air, I'm going to take the wheel off these are 17 mil bolts, including the locking wheel nut key. That's the wheel off. So first we want to undo this T30 bolt here that's retaining the disc. So while we've still got the caliper assembly on, we can put something in there, just jam it in, and then undo that. So before we take the caliper off, on the driver's side front, the right front, there's this brake pad wear sensor, you can just pull, pull that out of there, the wire just comes out and you can leave that part attached, uh, the wire that runs to the car, you can leave that attached to the caliper. Now we can undo the two 30mm bolts that hold the caliper to the carrier. So just crack them both off first. And then remove them. If when you're undoing it, the slider here starts to spin with it there, like you can see, just use a 17mm spanner, just put that on the back just to hold it while you wind it out. And then the same on the bottom. Once you remove those, the caliper should slide off. You just slide it backwards, straight off the pads. And then we want to support it so there's no stress on the um, on the brake line. So you can use zip ties, or here we're going to use bungee cord. Just wrap through the caliper, just support it up on the spring. Uh, that'll just keep it safe and out of the way. Now we want to remove the carrier. There's these two 18mm bolts there. If they are tight, you can use a breaker bar. When they're both removed, you can just pull the pads apart a little bit just to get past the lip on the disc and the carrier will just pull off straight towards you. Now the disc will also be loose, sometimes you do need a bit of a tap from the back but in this case it's loose and that will just come off straight towards you. So now we want to clean this area up before we refit the new disc. Um, you want to make sure this surface here is as flat as possible, no de debris on it, so the disc sits really flat. Um, we're going to use a wire brush, some brake cleaner and some cloth to give it a good clean. So 
So when that's cleaned up, we're now ready to fit the new disc. So when the discs come new, they've got like an oily coating on them to stop them rusting. So we're just going to clean that off the back first and clean the front after we fit it. Just some brake cleaner on the friction surface there and also on the inside to check there's no, no debris in there. Now I can fit that on. We want to line up the retaining hole there with the threads on the back and refit that bolt, the T30, back in there. Make sure when you tighten it up, just hold the disc on, make sure it's seated properly and it's flat. This bolt doesn't have to be super tight, you can just nip that up by hand. Give the disc a spin, you know it's seated right, it's not catching on anything. And now also just give the face a quick clean up with some brake cleaner. Right, so back to the carrier. It's got the old pads in, just tap them out. give these surfaces a clean up here where the pads have been sat in before they've got quite a lot of brake dust in them uh, so we'll pop those plates out using a small screwdriver just get in a little gap pop it the one on the other end this is the same one now we want to just give these surfaces a clean here and also these plates here, they should be quite shiny, get all this dust off um, and grime where the pad's sitting. And also both of them plates. So now the plates are all cleaned up, we can refit those back into the same place they came out of. Make sure they're pushed on all the way firmly. And the other one. And also while we're there, just check that both the sliders are nice and free on each side. And that's ready to refit. Now we're ready to refit the carrier, so we can offer it up back to where it came from, put it in there and just put both bolts in, just doing both, wind them in by hand first, just make sure everything's in the correct position. Tighten both of them up. So now we're going to refit the brake pads, the new ones. Remember on this side, there's a wear sensor. So the new one just slots into that hole, clicks into the pad. And that needs to go on the inside. Also, get some copper grease and just put it where it sits into the sliders that we cleaned up before. Careful not to get it anywhere else on the brakes, literally just on that end peg 
just on each end. Then we're going to put the pad in. So we're lining them up. And that should push in there. Then we'll do the front pad as well. Same again, a bit of copper grease just on that end peg. So we need, and then we can refit that. Right, now we're going to push the piston back in while it's suspended here. A few ways you can do it. Sometimes if the caliper's free enough, you can use your hands to push it back in, although it's usually quite hard. Uh, or you can use some mole grips, or in this case here, we've just got a G clamp, which will do the same job. So we can put it on the back of the caliper, put the other bit on the piston, and then we can just turn that. And this caliper's quite free, it just goes back in quite nicely. Also, while you're doing this, make sure, as we did in one of the first steps, take the cap off the reservoir and just make sure it doesn't overflow as you're pushing it back in. You know it's pushed back in because the face of the piston levels up with the rubber and it's all flat, now ready to fit. We're going to put just a little trace of copper grease on the back of the piston where it meets the pad. Just that. Then we can undo the bungee cord that's keeping it in place. Just unhook that. Push the sliders in. Just want to guide that through. Check the wire's not snagged for the brake pad sensor. You'll just have to push those in a touch just to get it lined up. And if you push the caliper in all the way, it should fit just nicely over the pads there. And then we can refit the two 13mm bolts. We tighten both of those up. Just nip them both first, check everything's in line before you finally tighten them. And remember also to plug the brake pad sensor back in. There's two little notches on the top and bottom that line up with a little notch on the plug where it goes in. Make sure they're pushed all the way in. Now we're going to refit the wheel and lower the car back down. So now we've got in the car, give the brake pedal a few pumps, check that there's a good pedal. I'm going to refit the cap for the brake fluid reservoir. And that's job done.